This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I got a project here. We're working inside of a house. It's a two-story condo and we've got a very narrow stairwell right here. And this can pose all kinds of challenges trying to paint this stairwell and get up here, do the ceilings and cut-ins. We've already done the ceilings, which was a lot easier. We sprayed the ceilings, used multiple extensions to get to the top, but that was the easy part. Now we've got to cut in the walls and roll the walls and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and I'm going to show you some of the tools, the tricks of the trade to how you work in a stairwell like this. So stay tuned for this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, now we're down here working in the stairwell. I'm gonna show you some of the tools. One of them, we've got a um, extend climb, extend ladder because there's no way you can manipulate like a 24, ex 24 foot extension ladder in a stairwell like this. So the extend climb, extension ladder is absolutely amazing, the perfect tool for this. We've got a pivot ladder box in here where we can um, level our ladder on stairs. We may be using a gooseneck brush to do cut-ins. I'm not sure. It's a a um, brush that uh, screws onto an extension pole right here that it'll screw on right there and it bends so if we can't reach stuff from our ladder we can do cut-ins using the gooseneck we're going to be rolling the walls with a coat of wool roller from Premier. I've already done spackling using Crawford spackling because because it is a narrow hallway getting furniture up and down in here people on um, roommates moving in and out walls get banged up pretty easily it's a Sun Valley texture smooth wall so we're testing out a, a new ladder leveler box for stairwells and it's actually working out pretty cool. Um, I'm tipping, I've always like, I don't know, like the last 15 years or so, we've used these pivot ladder tools, ladder boxes, and on roofs and stuff like that, outsides, outdoors, they work great, you know, but in stairs, I always need a spotter, you know, with them because I just don't feel confident even though you, um, they're made for stairs. I just got this sent this thing it's been out in the um shed for quite a while in the tool shed and had the opportunity to bring it here it's fully adjustable and it is way more stable i think we feel way more confident on it in stairs it's a great tool if you work around statters or statters or ladders something like that anyways i don't know you might want to check it out if you're accustomed to working in situations like this the ladder aid pro all right, I'm gonna run through this uh, simple process of doing this stairwell with the tools that we've used with two professional painters. Lucas and I were here working on this project. We just came in this house. First thing to do is get drop cloths down and get paper and masking run. Lucas started running the masking on this project. I started setting drop cloths down, started getting the paint ready to go. This stairwell, high stairwell, the way this thing is typically gonna run is we're gonna work our way from top to bottom. If you work your way from bottom up, you're gonna end up putting your ladder on wet paint. So cut-ins are the very first thing you wanna do. So once I got the paint ready, we've got our carpets and floors protected with our proper masking. Got the ladder set up. Lucas started doing the high ceiling cut-ins. While he was doing the ceiling cut-ins, I started rolling the walls below him. So Lucas is doing cut-ins and um, in the stairwell, I'm gonna start rolling walls. Another thing you're gonna need for doing a stairwell like this is extension poles and multiple extension poles. Anywhere from, you know, the one to two foots to, I got a four to eight foot, and I don't know if that's going to reach up um, as high as I need to, um, hopefully. Otherwise, we'll have to step up into a um, eight to 12 foot extension pole. But if you're doing situations like this, ex extension poles will be your best friend. So here we go. And once he got the ceiling cut-ins done, then I can start rolling the walls from the top down below. But get all your ladder work done first. That way you don't have to put your ladders on wet paint. So we got Lucas up here in the stairwell and he's working up here. And, and the way the ladder's set, I mean, I'm totally comfortable with you know, him up there like that. This is a safe position, but um, you know, it's a spotter's always, you know, uh, best so I'm uh, more comfortable spotting him on the ladder I'm just sitting here making sure this ladder doesn't slip or slide it is a carpet and drop cloth over the top of it um, and better safe than sorry Lucas brought his cut-ins down he was nice so he brought his cut-ins down low enough for me that I can reach and not have to grab the 12 to 8 foot extension pole 
What you don't want to do is go up too high and hit the ceiling and create a touch up up there. So you want to know your reach, your limit, what you can get. Once it's all dry, then you can go back up. We had to take off some vents and some other things that were up high. Uh, paint was dry, we can lean our ladder right back on the walls. But the simple process, kind of just uh, working your way from top down, getting everything protected. A uh, little bit difficult to do a proper layout on your walls when you're painting in a tight space like this. If I was doing um, like a really uh, dark color or an accent color, it could pose some, um, you know, some challenges trying to lay out your wall and get a proper finish. But this was the ideal scenario. Light color, um, high quality paint, no flashing. And um, there you go. Hopefully these were some tips and tricks for you. All right, there you have it. We're almost all done with our stairwell now. Just uh, do the final cleanup, final touch-ups. Doing this stairwell, we used two tools. We used the Ladder Aid Pro. Didn't even need to use the pivot ladder tool or ladder box on this thing. And then our extend climb ladder. Those two tools, two extension poles, the four to eight foot extension pole and the two to four foot extension pole were able to do this entire stairwell. Uh, looks pretty high, uh, very difficult situation if you don't have the proper tools, but those simple tools made this very simple and easy for us to do. It took us about, you know, about a couple hours to do the stairwell. It's all done now. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell right next to it because if you don't get hit the notification bell and just simply subscribe, you'll get notified every time I come out with a new video. It's free, simple, easy to do. If you have any questions or comments about the tools that we've used in this video, just leave them down in the comment section below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's helped you uh, down the road. Maybe if you run into a situation like this, how to get it done quickly and efficiently. We'll see you on our next video. Ow. So I'm testing. Oh, burp. <laughs> Freaking hamburger. That's so going at the end of the video. Oh. <laughs>